All right. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank you for tuning in to our, our monthly meeting uh, Wednesday. Um, we are excited about the idea that we are able to um, talk about our, our awards process and those who made it through the process. Before we get started, though, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Kanikas for her introduction of our new uh, CEX liaison, and then we will move forward from there. Hello, Pastor Robinson, did, you, did you say that you wanted me to introduce? Yes, yes. Okay, sorry, I was just, I think um, not everybody had the Zoom link, but uh, so my name's Kanika, I think for any of the new members that I haven't met yet. Uh, wait a um, minute, Kanika, you said not everybody has, it, were you inviting others as well? Well, I, I just met Miss Curry and Miss Holtstreeter, they didn't have the Zoom link, I think they just had the Teams invite. So we okay, just I, I see Miss Streeter. I, I I don't see uh, Miss Curry. I think she's on her way. I, I think she, I just got off the phone with her. I'm pretty sure she's logging in now. Okay, let's give her a second before we get started. Okay. Delegate Woods, how are you, ma'am? Miss Sweat, I want to acknowledge you. Ms. Hall. Yes, how are Can you? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm sorry, because I do not know what just happened. You all can hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, I'm doing well. How's everybody this evening? Doing fine, doing fine. Good. Ms. Hall. Hello, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Doing fine, thank you for asking. Ms. Sweat. Good evening, everyone. Sorry about that. I had me on mute. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, How's ma everyone? Doing fine. Doing fine. All right, Kanika, let me see. I see Miss uh, Streeter, and uh, who were we waiting on? Uh, um, I, I think that um, there's probably a little bit of confusion around whether to use. I think Miss Curry's on her way, um, and okay. I'm sure she's going to be here. All right, let's give her just a few more minutes before we get started and then we'll move move on from there. Tanika, I'm I had jumped on the team's chat to let her know to come over to the Zoom link. So I'll see if she's okay. gotten it yet. Okay. okay. Thank you. You know, hey, Mr. Lewis. Yes, Pastor Robinson. I, I, I've been thinking, sir, about filing a, a discrimination suit around here. Yes, sir. You, you see all these sisters on the line. It's, it's just the two of us, sir. I mean, this is reverse discrimination, if you ask me. I, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. Pastor Robinson, I think it's a blessing that we are able to be surrounded by. Look at this smart man right <laughs> oh, here. Mr. Bench, Mr. Lewis. Oh, my goodness, sir. Good answer. Good I answer. To to I have to talk to you after this is over, sir. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I figured I'd just go ahead and get something started. Pastor Robertson, I've been a lot, around a long time not to fall for that one. Yeah. <laughs> but the words I speak are absolutely true. <laughs> All right. Praise God. Um, Pastor Robinson, if you wanna, if we wanna just kind of move forward, I'm sure Miss Curry is coming. Okay. Um, but if we wanna right. just move forward, I'm okay. sure we'll all get a chance to meet her. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and give you the opportunity to introduce our new CEX. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened with what was Mr. Ree. Uh, I can't remember who was that. Uh, that Ryan first came on with. I, Michael Bayard, I believe. Yeah, I think he's, yeah. He's transitioned to another role. Okay. All right. Go ahead. You take it away. 
Okay, so um, hello, newer LDC members. My name is Kanika Bynum. I work with the Office of Management and Budget just to assist with the um, local development grant process. And um, I just wanted to introduce the new, your new um, liaison through the county exec's office. It's Ms. Barbara Holt Streeter. She's the new director of strategic partnerships and the LDC, which uh, the grant process through the LDC is now going to be under her direction. Um, and so she's new in the role. It's new having the LDC under this directorship. And as we can see, she's on camera right now. So just wanted to introduce her and with her will be Ms. Curry. Okay, Ms. Ms. Uh, Ms. Street, we'll give you the mic for a second, if you like. There you are. Uh, hopefully you can hear me well. I just left the office and of course did not want to miss this meeting. I'm very honored to be a part of this group. Pastor Robinson, I've known you for years. I'm very honored to be with you under your leadership and the rest of the local development council as well. And um, we are very excited with Ms. Sheila Curry. She currently has been managing the community partnership grant. And I've been in this position a little, about six weeks. So um, my background is about 20, 25 years of uh, public partnerships, strategic partnerships, public relations and corporate communication. I've recently worked uh, six years as a partnership officer for Prince George's uh, <clears throat> County Public Schools, uh, community relations liaison for First Baptist Church of Glen Arden, and also serve as the chair of the Faith Advisory Council for our county executive. So we are very excited to work alongside of you all and very uh, supportive of, as Kanika has been giving us some guidance and direction mm -hmm. from today. So thank you all so very much. Well, we're excited to have you. Thank you for uh, accepting the, 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 uh, the position. We're glad to have you. We saw we didn't have a, a proper opportunity to uh, send Ryan off, uh, but I'll reach out to him, send an e email or something to him. But we are... Um, uh, most excited to have you. Looking forward to working with you through this process. Uh, we also want to take take a moment to uh, acknowledge uh, Delegate Turner. Uh, Delegate Turner, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Sorry yeah. that I'm late. Okay. That, that, I'm just sorry, trying but... to bring in um, uh, somebody else wanted to join, Bill Taylor. And I thought I sent it to him, the link. Okay. All right. Um, have and you I'm had it? Trying to do it. Okay. Have you talked with the uh, uh, Senator Muse? No, not today. Okay. All right. Well, we're going, going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, our, our selection committee. This has been an original task, of course, and they have taken the time to get through this process. We had a total of, uh, I believe it was 67 applicants, only 35 made it through the process. Uh, I, Tanika, uh, uh, Kanika, do you know what the dollar amount was for uh, the request for those 67 applicants? Just off the top of your head. I can come up with that number pretty quickly. Okay. I feel like it was over, you know, well over a million dollars. Yeah. Well, what we had was uh, we had uh, total grant request for, was a was a million two hundred forty three thousand hundred seventy two dollars. Of course, we only had eight hundred fifty thousand dollars to distribute out of the sixty seven applicants that made it through the process. And of course, uh, um, office management budget has a, a, a fairly stringent uh, process of betting um, those organizations coming through through the, the office. So only out of the 67, only 35 made it. And out of the 35, we awarded uh, 29 applicants uh, who who were looking for $1,035,323. Of course, we only had $850,000. And uh, I'm still kind of sensitive about that uh, and do need to talk. We do need to talk, Mr. Streeter, on, on the sidelines to find out how we can get a bit more of that money. Um, but uh, the request, we, we did a total of 29, 29 awards uh, for $850,000. We fell short of what they requested by $203,000. And I'm going to uh, ask uh, Dr. Lattimore if she will give us just a brief overview of the 29 awardings and, 
and who we award the money. Out of that, I think it was um, six or seven that did not make it through the process for various reasons. We will reach out to them to explain uh, what it was we found, uh, but for for the most part, there were very some different reasons. They didn't didn't explain properly or outline what they were doing. Those kind of things. So I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Lattimore and the and the selection committee for just a brief overview of the 29 awardees, and then what we will do is take a motion to uh, to uh, vote on this and move from there. Dr. Lattimore. Uh, thank you, Pastor Robinson. Good evening, everyone. Um, glad to see that everyone made it through the nasty weather today, but we definitely need the rain. So the um, committee consisted of um, Ms. Mack and um, Ms. Jackson and myself. Um, we basically just took the applications that Kanika sent us and we divided them amongst ourselves. Um, we all three did the process last year. So um, it definitely was a task. Um, we I did miss Kim. So um, she did a great job last year and um, I'm glad that I paid attention like I did. Um, as pastor stated, um, not everyone received the awards. Um, this year we were working with a lower amount to give out, which um, I'm gonna be honest, the last two or three years I've been doing this, um, I wasn't used to that. So we really had to read all the applications to ensure they met the qualifications and they provided us with um, the information in order to receive the money. We also went back and looked at their reports. If they didn't submit um, a quarterly report as they were asked and required, um, we did not give them additional funds this year. Um, and that, that's key um, because it shows um, how they're using the money and it allows the committee to track what they're doing. Um, we also went back to the memorandum from June 16th, 2022 and looked at who was awarded grants back then. Um, and we did have a lot of newcomers this year. Um, I will say that Rashida, Carrie, and myself, we did look at the grants very, very hard. Um, we rated them um, and critiqued them um, very hard because we didn't have that much money. I think some of the individuals um, or grantees or repeat um, recipients pretty much got a little comfortable this year, you can tell by their application and what they wrote in them. Um, some of them gave a broad stroke of what they would be doing, um, but did not get, not get down to the finite details. They didn't provide, um, for example, one application wanted to have a program, but there um, was no indication on that packet as to where that program would take place. So, um, you know, it was a lot of reading. It was a lot of, you know, remembering last year how much um, they received. So um, we did have a list of individuals um, that will not be receiving awards this year. It's probably like two or three, but again, you can't get comfortable in, you know, writing these applications. Um, just because you got it the last two years does not mean you're going to you know, be nominated or recommended to get it for this year. Um, I would recommend that, you know, we try to get more funds next year, but that's going to be up to Pastor Robinson and, um, you know, who he um, has a sideline conversation with. There was funding given out by, um, was it Councilman Burroughs' office? And we did that, have that's, some... uh, that's that's just kind of immature. Okay. Okay. So if they were getting funding anywhere else, we didn't, um, you know, give funding here because we didn't have that much to give. So with that said, um, I'm going to turn it over to Rashida and to Carrie, and they can provide their input and their experience as well. Carrie. You're on mute. There you go. Sorry about that. 
Um, so, so just a quick correction, Dr. Lattimore, this was actually my first year um, participating in this process. Um, but there were, um, I got about, I guess about 11 applications to go through. And what I was looking for is, um, you know, a clear statement of their objection, the, the statement of need, um, some measurable goals and how they were going to track uh, the money. Um, I found some that um, they were well, very well as far as providing like job descriptions and how they were going to um, support that that mission that they were um, requesting money for. And some uh, were kind of going you know, totally out of their wheelhouse. Um, their functionality may have been in like scholarship support, but they wanted to do something totally different. And they just did not demonstrate the, um, the capacity to support that, whether it was um, with people um, that were within their organization, the subject matter experts, um, things of that nature. Um, but for the most part, um, you know, and I was also looking for something, um, something new and something different. I, I did see a lot that were doing um, beautification, um, and those were very detailed as far as where they were going to uh, do the do the uh, landscaping or the upgrading, um, how they were going to do it, the history of um, of what they were doing, um, and I was also looking for a sustainment. How will you sustain yourself? Um, in the event that you don't get all your money or, you know, if you don't get money next year, how you're going to sustain this program, um, you know, with or without this money. Um, and for the most part, I think they did a very good job um, of kind of outlining their, what their process, what their mission was. Um, and so those are the things that I kind of um, look for and kind of help me um, make a determination whether, you know, to, um, recommend the, their funding, their requested funding. Some I uh, requested reduced funding because um, like Dr. Lattimore said, they, you know, they had these grandiose ideas, but when it got to like the, the uh, details, they didn't have a place that they were going to provide the service. Um, they didn't um, indicate where they were aligning with, you know, how they were going to identify or reach their target audience. Um, they just didn't say that they, they had like really broad statements of, you know, we're going to go to the schools. Well, what school? Where where is the school? What is your relationship with um, that school or that organization? Um, so it was a, a really long process, but um, very rewarding and very um, I was very encouraged by the level of um, people who want to support our community. Um, so thank you, Dr. Dr. Lattimore. She was very helpful. Um, you know, divvying up the work, uh, letting us know you know what to do, where to do it, where to put things at. So I was very appreciative, appreciative of that. And she was very patient with me. So um, I thank you and, and both Rashida both for uh, uh, letting me uh, tag along in, in this process. You're quite welcome. Um, good evening, everyone. I don't have too much more to add um, as far as my experience is very similar to Dr. Lattimore and Carrie's. Um, I just want to note, as I mentioned last meeting, that we all were working off a score sheet, which had various categories to kind of outline what we would look for in the applications. Um, and just as Carrie experienced, I you know, reviewed applications that were very detailed and hit um, pretty much most of the points on the uh, score sheet. So they scored very high. And then we did come across the occasional applicant that wrote very broadly and in general as to what they intended to do with the money, but it really didn't give us a clear idea as to um, the program and or how they were gonna execute or implement. Um, the challenge that we had was more so the funding, which echoed, I think Dr. Lattimore covered that um, quite well, that we didn't have enough uh, funding to provide those uh, grant applications for funding. So we had to make adjustments there. Um, and that's all that I have. Thanks. Dr. Lattimore, would you, could you outline just briefly of course, we awarded, I think it was 29, um, 29 applicants. Uh, can you just give us a brief outline of those particular applicants, applicants and, the, and the type of services they will be? Um, okay. Make sure I'm off of mute. Yes. Um, so, for example, um, do you, did you want me to share the spreadsheet or just give a brief overview? 
Uh, just just a brief overview. Okay. I mean, if anyone so, wants so, a copy of the spreadsheet, we can see that they get that later. Okay, so one of the ones that is very important and has a major impact um, in the six mile radius is the capital area food bank um, with food going up, um, you know, in stores. I think that that is a major impact within our county. Um, so they will provide meals to families who are um, subsidized and um, they per provide food to the farmer's market that they have as well in the Fort Washington area. Another one was Christmas in April. Um, as you know, there are a lot of families that can't afford Christmas for children. So um, that was another one. Um, the Damascus House um, for Community Development, we had the Easter Seals again this year. Um, another one was Fort Washington Forward, and just forgive me, I'm looking at the spreadsheet. Um, that's another one that provides um, produce to the farmer's market. One thing I will say is I think that the partnership um, was very high this time around. A lot of the repeat applicants and even the new applicants um, went out and got partnership letters so it's not like two and three people are doing mentoring. They're all coming together and working as partners. Whereas when we first started doing this, it seemed like um, four or five grant applicants were doing um, mentoring and, and having different programs. Um, there is one program um, that provides arts, um, helps introduce um, students to different instruments and um, gives them lessons on theater arts. And also, last but not least, we had the Special Olympics of Maryland. So it was a wide, wide variety, but all of them made some type of impact or will be making some type of impact within the six mile radius area. Okay. And the ranges ranged from 25,000 to 50,000 and some got as low as maybe 7,000. Um, what we did is that the individuals, when they asked for the funds, we looked at what they got last year. And if pretty much if they, you know, the application met the standards on the score sheet, they, you know, pretty much got what they asked for last year and this year. But for the new applicants, you know, we did scrutinize them and we gave them, um, if not what they asked for, a little bit under because we want to monitor them to make sure that they do um, continue to provide the services that they are um, exhibiting in their application. Pastor Robinson. All right. Um, if we have any questions before we uh, move to make a motion to to uh, to vote. Uh, this is the time to entertain that. Anyone? Can I be heard? Can everybody hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Do we I'm have sorry. any? I'm trying to come off the of mute. <laughs> okay. Is, I just have one question, you know, very new to this process. And so just wanted to get some clarity. And that is those applicants, you were saying that you uh, have a scoring sheet. Are they aware, were they aware of what was required for the scoring sheet, i.e. did they know um, that you needed specific details about specific requests? Well, what, what, what we do, Doug, is, is we have a workshop. Everybody's, not everybody's required to go through the workshop, but we, have, we, we advertise the workshop. Uh, in that workshop, um, we get uh, pretty detailed in what's required um, and, and those kind of things. So that comes through the workshop, and then we then we score based upon based upon what we have acknowledged in the workshop is how we do that. I don't know if you I don't think you you came on or you weren't on yet uh, when we did the workshop for this this group, but it's a rather extensive. Uh, um, uh, program that the uh, introduction that the Office of Management and Budget puts on. Um, 
and it even gets into the details of being uh, being uh, uh, what the requirements are to come through the process. So we do a pretty extensive workshop on what uh, what we're looking for uh, and those kind of things. Anyone else? No other questions. All right. Uh, what we'll do is uh, entertain a motion to to uh, to accept the the uh, recommendations as uh, have been presented to us. Then we'll take a vote, and um, that'll be the end of the meeting. Motion by anyone. So moved. Delegate Turner, uh, Mello Woods, second. Yeah. Yes, okay. I'll make all a motion in second, yes. Okay, all in favor of uh, accepting the the uh, the 29 uh, recommendations that have been presented to us, uh, please show, uh, uh, with, well, we need to see everybody's hand. Those of you can come on for a second who are members. Um, if you, uh, um, who else, Ms. Street, Ms. Street, now, Ms. Street, are you and uh, Ms. Mims, Eligible voting? No, sir. I am not. Okay, Miss Streeter. No, I don't think I don't think so. Okay. So all no, in favor, no. just a show of hands, please. Is my raised hand acceptable? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, the eyes have it. Uh, the so what we will do is uh, get this back to uh, Kanika to the Office of Management Budget. Uh, we on a, a pretty tight. Uh, Time frame. Uh, Kanika, when will they receive the uh, receive the funding? Well, well, first they will receive a letter that they have been uh, selected, and then when will they receive the funding? Our goal. Our goal sorry, I'm. I need to. I'm on the. I'm on phone and on. So okay. I just need to cancel that. So I bring it back. Um, the goal is going to be to send the payments out by the thirtieth. But I just kind of want to make everyone aware because we ran into this issue last year. Of the people that you have selected, we're now going to check that they're still in good standing with the state. We checked that when the application was originally submitted, but since then it's been tax time. We're going to double check that information. As long as they're still in good standing with the state, we'll continue to award the payment. If it happens that someone is not, an organization is not in good standing with the state, we'll let them know, give them an opportunity to remedy that which generally does not take long, you know, if you, you've kind of got that information ready. If we either can't get in contact with them or they can't get that information ready in time for us to submit these payments, it'll be up to the LDC to choose another organization that would be eligible to receive the funding. Okay. At last year when this happened, the backup organization wasn't able to get in good standing with the state and or get in contact with the LDC in time, and that funding just wasn't able to be awarded. So just to kind of let you know of what we're going to be doing in the process, all the organizations have to be in good standing with the state as of tomorrow morning when I start checking. And if they're not, we'll reach out to them, allow them a chance to fix that, and hopefully they can do that within the timeline. We'll probably give them a week. Um, and, and generally, you know, if if you've got your things together, you can get back in good standing with the state pretty quickly within a day or two. So um, that 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 will be the process. So the letters, once we check that they're in good standing with the state, the letters will go out uh, potentially by early next week and emails will go out. And um, after that, the payments will go out. But again, it just hinges on them being in, still in good standing with the state of Maryland. Okay. Now, Delegate Woods just put a uh, in the chat on the north they would receive pastor Robinson money. your sound's not coming through but I don't think you're on you mute can't hear me? can you hear me now I can hear you yeah we can okay. hear you all right Doug yeah. Woods Doug Woods wanted to know if we can if, everyone uh, else we hear would... him yes okay oh, Doug Woods okay Doug Woods wanted to know if we if we would get a copy of uh the awardees yes we we can do that I think uh after Tanika does the, uh, I mean, Kanika does the, uh, does the final check, then we can send out a copy of, of, of who was awarded and how much they were awarded. We'll also show uh, what their request was and what the reward was. Uh, as, as, uh, 
Dr. Lattimore said, eight hundred fifty thousand dollars is a lot of not, not a lot of money. Out, out, out. In the past, the, the the funding to us was kind of commensurate with what the tables were doing. I don't know how we got into this eight hundred and fifty thousand dollar thing, but uh, uh, trust me, I will get with Miss Rita, and we will have some conversation um, that uh, that I think the county exec needs to be aware of. The, even our recommendations last year. I honestly don't believe it got to the county exec's office or to her ear. And it's important for us to understand uh, that process. Uh, we need to get much more of this money. One of the things that we recommended, uh, I don't know if, uh, how many of you have been down to MGM and down at the harbor. If we're not careful, that's going to end up looking just like the boulevard. I don't think it's, in, it's just impossible for police cars to move around through that process. And one of the things we recommended last year was... Uh, what do you call those things? Segways. Um, we recommend the segways for officers to be able to move through uh, the community a lot easier. Uh, just cars sitting in, in, in spaces. But if you've been down there during the day or during the evening, crime is, is, is up. Uh, boats have been broken into those kind of things. And what we need to do is to make certain that we protect that investment, particularly as it relates to the commercial dollars that come out of MGM and out of the harbor. So I think it's important that we do that and pay attention to that. Uh, we made some rather, uh, I thought I thought were great requests. I just don't think it got to the county execs desk for her to take a look at. Now, Miss 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 Streeter, we'll 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 talk about that. But um, the the process, of, of course, you know that our oversight committee is it's a rather strenuous process. We need to build it up. We lost a couple of people. And if any of you who are interested in de dealing with oversight, I'd love to talk to you and put you on that committee. Um, we look at this money very closely. I think it's important that we do so uh, to protect our own integrity, but to protect the county exec and to protect just our county, period. Uh, if you know, know when I first took over, we, uh, we had uh, six organizations that we uh, sent to, uh, to uh, audit and inspections Five of them came back with serious misuse of money. And uh, I think it's important for us to make people realize this is not a game, this is not a giveaway. And uh, out of those five, uh, we intend to send those on to uh, the Attorney General's office for, for um, whatever they choose to do with it. But we want it out of our hands to make sure that we make certain that this money is being used and used properly. So with that in mind, if we don't have any other questions, I'll entertain the motion. Go ahead, uh, Dr. Lattimore. Um, thank you, Pastor Robinson. Um, before we leave, I just want to thank Kanika. Um, I know I worried her to death with emails, <laughs> um, but she was great in um, leading us through this process. And I want to personally thank you um, for everything that you have done. And um, I look forward to doing this again next year with you. And to Carrie and Rashida. Um, you know, life gets in the way, but um, they made the time and took the effort to um, rate all those applications, and um, I appreciated them assisting. So thank you, everyone. And then we want to go on record publicly to thank Ryan for all the work that he's been doing. I didn't get a chance to do that before he left, and uh, we certainly want to want to welcome uh, um, Miss Rita and. Uh, and look forward to working with her. And also want to thank Miss Nicole. Miss Nicole has come in here and uh, she has really done a great job of, of hitting the ground running. Um, she's uh, been doing a great job. We communicate with each other quite a bit doing uh, just prior to. So Nicole, we want to thank you and give you a, a hearty hand for, for the work that you're doing to keep us all together. You're welcome, sir. And I also spoke with Ryan. He's currently on his way home. He was out of town, but he will be at the next meeting. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, I will entertain a motion to uh, adjourn. A second. Uh, did we get a first? I'll make a motion, motion. to oh, adjourn. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> I'll make a motion to adjourn <laughs> to this wonderful group we got here. Yeah, I, 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 look, it must be very difficult for you sitting on those phone books. So we won't get off yeah. there <laughs> as quickly. You're right, you're right. <laughs> I'm so short. 
I'm, I, I'm uh, on pillars this time. I'm on pillars. Doc, Doc Turner, we love you, ma'am. I just, I just love just seeing you around. You are a, a, a breath of fresh air. Thank you for being who you are. And, and uh, we will, we will break uh, 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 Dr. Woods in. We'll, 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 we'll give her what she needs to get started. Yeah. Is she gone? I'm, I'm, no, she's still on. I, I'm still here. I'm, I'm listening to you. I was just waiting to see if I was going to get another threat. So, you know, I'm just, <laughs> I, I'm all in. I'm all in. I did threaten her a little bit, y'all. I want y'all to know. I did threaten her a little bit, just a little bit. Amen. All right. Uh, we, we, we're we ready to dream. Mr. Taylor, do you have anything you want to say, sir? Uh, no, no, sir. Everyone have a good evening. All right. Um, all in favor of Jen, please uh, say aye. 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 All right. This is Jen's at a meeting. Uh, Miss Street, I asked Kanika to give you my my telephone number. We'll we'll connect and and get started from there. Okay. Thank you 